Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch, and today 3D Studios Max 2020 was just released, and I have to warn you up front, this video is going to be a bit short. I'm kind of foreshadowing a bit there, but the truth of the matter is, this release is not the biggest you've ever seen. And that's part of the fact that they're going to a subscription model and they're updating more consistently. But, as you may be able to see here from their official release video, the like to dislike ratio on this one is not ideal. Now please, I am just the messenger here. I am not the one that wrote this, I am not the one that made this release, and I am not making any judgment of this release. I am just reporting the news. And no matter what you are, if you are a Blender user, the truth is, um, Autodesk, Max, and Maya are still profoundly important in the world of game development. They are the tools used most predominantly in professional studios to this day. So even small releases are important enough to get a news release. So. What exactly is actually in this release? Well, we'll cover that in a second. First, I want to tell you the videos you see playing in the background, they are time compressed versions of official announcements of the new functionality in this from the Autodesk channel. So if you want to check that out, I will make those links available in the link down below. But that is what you're seeing in the background as opposed to just looking at a blank page. So what are the highlights of the 2020 release? Well, First off, we have performance enhancements, support more accurate playback in the viewport frame rate, faster playback speeds with validity intervals, accelerate set normals, max script function, and more. So that is the one category. Next up, we have new create animation preview features. Uh, enhance the user interface and enable faster local drive creation, AVI codec selection, and unlimited capture resolution, among other capabilities. The nice one and the biggest one, in my humble opinion, and what you've seen the video of in the background, is a new chamfer modifier of updates. This includes a new fixed weight chamfer, presets, inset feature, endpoint biased and added depth, um, facilitate efficient predictable modeling. And truth of the matter is, chamfer modeling is used a ton in box modeling. So this is definitely a nice improvement there, especially if you are modeling in a daily basis in 3D Studios Max. All right, so after that, we have OSL or open shader language shader improvements, like an enhanced viewport display of OSL maps, automatic conversion of OSL shaders to viewport shaders, quick silver hardware render support for OSL maps, and new and extended OSL maps uh, introduce greater rendering flexibility and customization. Next up, we have enhanced Revit import functionality. Now, for most game developers, that's not going to mean a whole lot. Uh, this is more like a solid construction uh, for engineering type work kind of product, but it imports better. And we also have... Uh, 3ds2 Arnold or max 2 a integration updates streamlined workflows offering the ability to export export points as Arnold point primitives faster P flow instance rendering and distribution of the Python API to edit write and render ass files yeah that's not my choice of file extension but ass files without relying on kick only so basically you've got better integration of Arnold which is a third-party renderer that uh, Autodesk bought probably about two years ago now um, so that is kind of the extent of this update and that is why you saw kind of that like to dislike ratio um, and you're gonna get this you're gonna get this with any tool that goes to a subscription model it used to be they had to sell you enough features to make the upgrade worthwhile well now they got you anyways so the it's more of an incremental approach there are some people out there that are saying that this approach is Autodesk basically signing their own grave uh, by not adapting much more than what you are seeing here. Now, an area that may cheer a few Autodesk developers up, however, is they did announce their public roadmap. So what's coming beyond 2020? And you've got some highlights here. So we've got create uh, modernized procedural tools and where they're going to go with that. Uh, enhance core tools and performance. Uh, consolidate the rendering experience. Uh, create time to pre or um, accelerate time to preview and then we've got in the collaborate category simplify character animation workflows enhance open standards <laughs> okay um, collaborate efficiently bring data into 3ds max uh, partner for real-time workflow and such as fbx round trip with unity that they've already released um, so they're gonna have better unity integration going forward uh, and then in the automate category they got free time for creative work We've got uh, portable simulation solvers and simplified development experience, uh, scale automation, and that's about it. So that is the timeline of what is coming this year, I guess, for Autodesk uh, 3D Studios Max going forward. And that's about it. So uh, once again, please, I want to remind you, I am just the deliverer of news and not the news itself. So please don't dislike me because of that, if you could. I would really appreciate that. But yeah, not the... 
Not the most exciting release I have ever seen, but once again, 3D Studios Max is a huge player in the marketplace, and if you're already a subscriber, just that um, you know new bevel feature and functionality alone might be enough to make your life a better place. But yeah, I, it, it's not a stop the presses type release, but uh, I will link the article down below. So again, if you want to see some of those videos I've been playing in the background, or you want to um, you know check out the roadmap for yourself, they will all be linked in the linked article. All right, what do you think? Um, yeah, and I know there's, there's going to be tons and tons and tons of you out there that um, say Blender is better in every regard. I, I know that comes. I know I have a very avid Blender community on my channel. Uh, but if, if you're a 3D Studios Max user, is, is there anything in this upgrade that really excites you or are you pretty much underwhelmed as well? All right, let me know. Please try to keep this one civil. Um, all right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.